I was at the press conference you guys did earlier today, and and during that, you sort of said that you were drawn to the character, to your character, because he doesn't really have sort of a transformative arc, but rather it's sort of the audience's perspective of him that changes over time. Do you think you that he's always known who he is and lived in that truth? Definitely. I mean, I think. I mean, I think we all have an arc in our life in terms of growing into our identity and how we represent ourselves um, to the external world. But I feel for him specifically, I mean, he's dealt with a great amount of trauma. And uh, I think in our modern day, without any therapy, we tend to suppress those feelings, those emotions, and they, they come out in different ways. Whereas for him, and I think it might have something to do with the landscape or his, his beautiful mother, and uh, the mission he always has to look after her. He dealt with that trauma at face value. That's at least personally what I thought in my approach to him. And I don't think that that energy and that trauma went anywhere. He dealt with it right there in the moment. And that's when it solidified who he was Um, because, you know, then those energies and those emotions couldn't come up anywhere else. So it created a very genuine human being, one that was extremely comfortable in their own skin and uh, wasn't going to change for the world. And so I think that's, that's admirable. I mean, he'd have to sort of, he'd have to be in some way to be in Montana in the twenties and not be like a dude rancher, you know what I mean? And so there's also part of me that also wonders, you know, in his, in that vein, like he lives in his truth, but Phil, I wonder if he sort of seemingly hates him for it. Like has, like Phil is jealous of Peter for having some options. Of course. I mean, they represent duality. Um, and I think it can speak to, to, to us still today. Um, even though this, this uh, story was written 60 years ago and when it was written, it was based on a period 60 years before that, I, I believe. Um, this is a theme that is, is still something to be spoken about today. And I hope more stories are told like that. You know, Peter represents the one who didn't have to repress anything. Whereas, you know, Phil represents the one who was, you know, possibly raised through university, always around men, always around the expectations of what strong has to be, what a strong man has to be, what masculinity is. And so I think he had to adapt to the expectations of the world. And that's what solidified him in his unfortunate toxic masculinity and his narcissism and uh, in his kind of cruel nature, which is actually heartbreaking when you when you see it for what it is. One thing Bennett said in the in the junk in the press conference today was that he sort of like learned a little bit of taxidermy for the movie, even though he doesn't really do any in the movie. You do a little bit of uh, surgical skills, sort of, if you will, in the movie. I'm wondering, you know, did you bone up on those? The surgical ones, not not really. If anything, I would have like watched some kind of gruesome videos on surgery, which I I'm really squeamish with that kind of stuff. So I I just use my imagination, which is a really great thing in acting. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, the horse riding, I had to kind of relearn. I've done that for other jobs and characters in the past, but it's not something that kind of comes naturally to you, especially working with new horses with different personalities and you have to create that bond, you know? I guess I worked also with the delicate nature of the kind of, it's not origami, but that beautiful journaling work that Peter mm-hmm. does and uh, making those flowers. I think it wasn't so much of a challenge to do it by hand, but rather the emotional nature that that you have to be in to to do something so delicate and you have to be extremely um uh what's the word patient so yeah i had to work through that i wonder what little lady made these (laughs) actually i did sir my mother was a florist so i made them to look like the ones in our garden oh well do pardon me (laughs) 